Hi, I'm Dulcie Hill, and today I want to talk about the first line of medications used to prevent you from having attacks when you've been diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. Now, there are six different types of medications that uh, uh, the doctor will suggest that you try. Uh, you don't want attacks when you have MS, and the first one is Copaxone. Copaxone is a daily, no, it's an injection you do three times a week, subcutaneous, so it's just under the skin, and uh, it has a 29% effective rate for people with MS, so it had 25% chance of, of you not having an attack. Um, it, it works by regulating the immune system, and they don't know exactly how it works or why, but it works. Uh, the side effects tend to be um, injection site reactions, where some people uh, find it a little painful when the, the medication goes in. It burns a little bit. So what you can do to overcome that is ice your, the area where you're going to inject that, and then you inject it, and, uh, and then you're fine. Um, anyway, uh, it's pretty well tolerated. Some people have more serious side effects, but it's rare. Uh, those ser more serious ones um, tend to be, uh, uh, you know, chest tightness, heart, uh, you know, breathing, difficulty breathing and stuff. They typically happen, uh, yeah, flush and stuff. You'll you just feel flushed, and that typically happens within 15 minutes and then it goes away. So it's not that big of a deal. All right, the next group of medications uh, I want to talk about is uh, interferons. Interferons, uh, they're injections. Some of them are intramuscular injections and some are subcutaneous. The ones that are intramuscular uh, is Avinex, and that has a 33% uh, um, effective rate and that's an intramuscular, and you only do it once a week. So uh, um, when I was on Avonex, I'd find anybody. I knew where they were supposed to inject me. So I would point and say, could you just stab it in me where, right where I point? And uh, then it was done. And once a week, people love to do that. Or you can go into your doctor's office or a minute clinic or something like that, and they'll do it too. But they'll charge you. Um, the second uh, medication is beta seron. Uh, beta seron, and uh, that is a shot every day. The, there's uh, Extevia, Pellegrini, Rebif. There are different types of interference, and they all range in 33% effectiveness 33, 34%. Um, how it works, interferons are natural in our body, and uh, that natural chemical helps us to fight viruses. It, it, it keeps them down. So it is thought that the, the interferons keep viruses from coming up and happening. Well, MS is very similar to that. So, uh, and it's effective there. Now, the problem is, is that some people have severe side effects to it. Some people don't there, but uh, um, side effects range from mild headache, which is easy to treat, to uh, severe flu-like symptoms, like achy joints and muscles and stuff, and you don't want, that doesn't feel good. That was when I took beta serum. It, it was, my body just thought I was in the throes of death. However, I know people who took beta serum that uh, they take a, uh, a couple Tylenols at night, take a, an injection before they went to sleep, and then they slept right through, woke up good to go. And uh, so it's, each person is different. You owe it to yourself to try. Um, on, on the second note, I did the Avonex, which is the intermuscular. And uh, that one wasn't as bad for me. I still had to take pain medication and all. But uh, that, is, that is basically it with the first line of medications there. They're all injectables. Some are uh, 
subcutaneous, the others are intermuscular, and uh, between that and Copaxone, that is your first line of medications that the doctors will want you to try before they consider anything else. Um, anyway, God bless you. Please subscribe. Go to msfrontiers.org. We have uh, Facebook support groups, and uh, keep coming back.